All right, guys. Uh, this is also going to be uh, in the playlist on the tournament side of things. Uh, we're going to talk about <coughs> beating pushers. Uh, there's normally three different categories that people fall into. Uh, I go as A, B, and C. And your C player is real steady. Your B player is real aggressive and your A player is kind of a mixture of the two. Uh, so we're going to talk about beating the C player. There's going to be a video on A, B, and C uh, a little more in depth, but today we're just going to talk about the C player. Uh, <clears throat> probably the hardest opponent in tennis is going to be someone that doesn't beat themselves, uh, and you have to come up with all the shots to beat them. And uh, it's infuriating to play uh, C players, we all understand that, but it is a game you have to respect. You have to respect the game that beats you. I've had lots of people over the years, especially juniors, that don't play in the 12s because there's too many pushers, so they play in the 14s. And then they find out there's pushers in the 14s, so they're like, oh, we don't do that, let's play the 16s. And then they find pushers in the 16s, and they just keep going up. And really, the, the answer to the problem is, there are always going to be pushers. At college level, there's always pushers. And so, Murray, kind of a, kind of a classic uh, uh, example. He's, you couldn't really call him a pusher, but he is. I mean, he never, make mis he never makes mistakes. Uh, he's never in a rush to get the point really started aggressively. He just kind of wears you out. Uh, so the first thing we need to do to beat a pusher is realize that you've got to be patient. You've got to kind of play their game until you get the right ball. You can't get frustrated and try and pull the trigger every second or third ball. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's easiest then to do because when you get upset, and they never miss and they're not taking any chances, it's easy to, to do that. Uh, so first off, you've got to be patient. So me and Harry are going to start hitting some balls. Harry's going to be pushing the ball around and I'm going to kind of work him around the court and we're going to talk about how to beat a pusher. All right, guys. So Harry's going to be over there and he's going to, he's going to hit the ball kind of soft and he's going to kind of be a pusher. And my first job uh, to beat a pusher is to stay patient and move him around the court and wait for the right ball. I'm not going to hit the ball down the middle to him because we'll be there all day and we're not, no one's going to get anywhere. So I'm going to be patient, I'm going to work him around the court and I'm going to wait for the, for the right shot. So let's see how this goes. So he's pushing the ball around. So I'm going to work him around the court. It's all right. As you can see, I'm working him around the court. I'm not in a big hurry. Okay, so that's not as easy in tournaments, but try and take great pleasure in running the, running the moon ball around the court. Uh, try and make them do as much running as you can. Uh, that's a nice game to play. A lot of moon ballers are not going to blow you off the court. So as long as you don't beat yourself, uh, they won't beat you. So move them around the court, take pleasure in how much uh, running you can make them do. Okay, next tactic is we're going to lay the trap for them and then we're going to come on in and knock the volley away. I'm going to hit the ball high I'm going to, to Harry. I'm going to look up, and if I see Harry's going to moon, the, moon ball the ball back, I'm going to come to the net, and I'm going to put the volley away nice and soft. So let's see if we can do that. I'll take it. All right, guys, so we're going to look to see if Harry's going to uh, lob the ball. So the point's going. I hit the ball deep into the corner. The point's going, I hit the ball deep into the corner, I can see he's going to lob, I come on in, and I knock the volley away. Uh, let's do a couple more, Harry, I think we can do better, right? Alright guys. So imagine we've been playing, I hit the ball deep into Harry's corner, I look up, I see that he's going to lob, and I just go to the net and knock the volley away. So we're having the rally, I hit the ball deep into that corner, I can see he's going back, I come on in, and I knock the volley off the court. Uh, probably one of the easier tactics against a moon baller. Now, if you're not playing a moon baller, you're just playing someone steady, then you've got to be careful there. But if you're playing someone that likes to just moon the ball in the air, especially in juniors, uh, work on your net game so you have the ability to hit the ball high, go in behind it, and knock the easy volley. 
third tactic is to make them be aggressive. A lot of moon ballers or steady players are there. I like that because they're risk averse. They, they have a hard time pulling the trigger, the nerves hit them, so all they do is they bump the ball in the air and try and frustrate you. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drop the ball short, bring that person in, and then either look to hit the passing shot or to, to lob them. Uh, so here we go. So the point's going. I'm gonna chip the ball short into the court, bringing Harry in, and then lobbing the ball over his head. And there's the passing shot. I go ahead and make the passing shot. Now, as you can see, that's a difficult tactic because if you don't hit a good short ball, they might come in and rip a winner. But what I have done there is I've effectively made the point different. I've, I've not kind of got into that moon ball backwards and forwards for 40, 50 balls. I've, I've changed up the point. I've brought them in. Maybe that's not where they're comfortable and we play out the point from there. Uh, so to recap, you need to be patient. You need to move the guy around the court. You need to set the trap by hitting the ball high to them, and then when you know they're gonna hit the ball high back, you go on in and put the ball away at the net. And then thirdly, you wanna try and make them aggressive by bringing them in and, and, and then going from there. Uh, that is difficult to do because, you know, against uh, pushers or defensive type players that you can get frustrated and play out of, a, out of frustration. And anytime you play out of frustration, you try and pull the trigger too early, but uh, work on that. Uh, I really enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time, thanks.